How's it going everybody? Dotodoy here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And this one should be a really fun video because we are finally talking about the next potential DLC character that could be coming to the game relatively soon. Now obviously right away at the top of this video we have to mention that this is not guaranteed full confirmation. But if you want my personal opinion on it, I am pretty much taking this as a light confirmation of a certain character coming to the game. And that is because we have a very similar situation to what happened with Master Roshi. Very quickly if you don't remember the entire story basically bandai namco latin america posted a teaser that they said was for dragon ball kakarot later on down the line but originally there was no context for the teaser it was just a pair of glasses mixed with a turtle which obviously led people to believe that it was related to master roshi a few people believed it was referring to the next dragon ball fighters character myself included so i later went on to make a video talking about it and how master roshi could technically be coming to the game and of course later in the comment section of that video bandai namco latin america posted a comment saying hey guys we love your passion for dragon ball fighters but basically that puzzle was to engage with our kakarot fans we're sorry about that please stay excited for future announcements but this teaser had nothing to do with fighters now of course i did make sure to pin that comment tweet it out on twitter anything i could do to make sure their message got out there but i also made it very clear at the time that i still expected master roshi dlc to drop in fighters relatively soon and that's about how i feel with this right here so with that out of the way let's go ahead and get to talking about the character i assume you see on the thumbnail omega shenron and how we arrived at the conclusion that he's probably going to be the next DLC character. Well, once again, we have to head over to Bandai Namco Latin America's Twitter account and take a look at another tweet that once again looks to be another hint towards another character. This tweet was linked to me a bunch along with some other videos people have been doing about this topic, and I later went on to look up a lot of other Reddit posts with this same theory in mind. So please don't misconstrue this for me thinking I came up with this. I was definitely not the first person to put all these clues together, but it does really make sense when you look at everything the tweet offers. Really, the only information you need to see here is Master Roshi on a blue and white background with seven random Dragon Balls floating around him. Now it is worth noting that you can't see it in the picture but the Dragon Balls do move up and down. This is a video and that is the only thing that moves within this entire still image. Now for starters Master Roshi's background is not this blue and white background that we see here. Master Roshi actually has more of a green background and Master Roshi has next to nothing to do with the Dragon Balls. <laughs> now of course if you don't believe this theory you could just say the Dragon Balls are a big part of Dragon Ball fighters in general and Dragon ball in general and you would be correct but it does seem like an incredibly random thing to throw into a tweet that is supposed to just be talking about master roshi and somewhat advertising master roshi again but you know what this background and video would make perfect sense for an omega shenron character that's right going off of this tweet and multiple other things that we'll get into later a lot of people are assuming that omega shenron will be the next dlc character and i am 99.9 what whatever i said i was for roshi confident that we will be seeing omega shenron enter the game relatively soon now we're actually really Really lucky that unlike the old master roshi teaser tweet the one that they commented on said hey we didn't intend to do this and we just had to kind of you know we only had that picture and our suspicions to go off of this time around omega shenron has had voice files uh, relating to him in the game for a really long time so players of the game especially um if you're super into the community and on a lot of forums and stuff like that we already assumed omega shenron had a really high chance of getting into the game and now it just adds that little bit of extra percentage to make me say yeah i'm totally fine with doing this video I 100% believe Omega Shenron is going to be coming up relatively soon. One of these voice lines is of course relating to Gogeta, Omega Shenron's main opponent, which you can hear in this tweet along with a fan animation of Gogeta Blue replicating the line. Hey, you, you think you can hit me here next? This shoulder's been killing me! <laughs> and just to be clear, that Gogeta animation is not something you find in the game. That Twitter user is just really good with posing slash animating fighters models, so that was almost like a fan animation of sorts. The audio, though, is actually something you can find in the game, and that's what makes it significant. So, that is pretty much all the evidence for Omega Shenron. I think it's a lot to go off of. Honestly, I'm very, very confident in this. <laughs> but, now that we're only left with one other DLC character, it's good to talk about the ramifications of what Omega Shenron comes to the game means for that last character. For starters, it's like I've been saying for a really long time, this was not a Tournament of Power DLC season. A lot of people thought it was themed around that, and it was a good hunch to go off of, considering that all of the characters we had gotten so far had participated in the Tournament Power of, in some way. But once again, I gotta say, I don't think that theory is true, and I think Omega Shenron disproves that. But I think Omega Shenron opens up another really likely possibility that I think a lot of people would like, and that is a and that is a GT-themed duo. Much like 
like last season when we finished it off with DBS Broly and Gogeta Blue. Maybe this time we'll see another way it's finished off with Omega Shenron and Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. That would be really, really crazy. I've also seen a lot of people saying maybe we'll get a Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 skin for Gogeta Blue and that could work out as well. But I feel like with the way Fighters works, another character standalone is much more likely. That could be Super Saiyan 4 representation in the game right there and another really hype fusion character. But again, just to really stress this point home, Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 is not even teased outside of that voice line you just heard there, but that could just be Gogeta Blue doing a voice line to Omega Shenron. That is a very likely possibility with the way Fighters works out, you know. A lot of characters get voice lines for different parts of the game. In fact, I would more often say that if you hear a voice line for that in Fighters, it's most often just an Easter egg, and that could definitely be the case here. But I'm just not discounting the possibility that they would want to finish a season with a big character like another Gogeta. Regardless though, that is going to be the end of this video. Let me know all of your fan theories and ideas on this down below in the comment section. Seriously, these are some of the most fun fighters videos to do and read the comments for. It is just going to be fan theory o'clock and I, I'm going to be loving it. I'm going to be harding the ones I agree with or even the ones that I didn't even think of, you know, stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. While you're down there though, if you like this video and the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all things Dragon Ball Fighters and other fighting games. And you can watch even more videos on top of your screen right now. I have been Dr. Doya. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end and I will see you in the next one.